Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. So first of all, a big thanks to all those of you who um, putting like on these videos, adding a comment. Thanks a lot for your support, guys. As usual, we will start with EURUSD. I'm looking at the weekly time frame. And what is the weekly time frame telling us? Well, it is telling us that we are uh, in a bearish trend and that we've got a little bit of a correction or a sort of a reversal. It's very hard to uh, predict. Uh, if this a reversal or just a correction what's important here if we look left we saw that we broke below a key structure we've done a retest we've got a little bit of a rejection on friday and this area here this whole level is a key level that we should keep an eye at so if we go down to the daily time frame we saw that when the market did reach that level we've got a little bit of a rejection on thursday and a even bigger bearish day on friday and um, yeah that was the level that i expected some uh, kind of um, at least retracement but what's also key here that we have a market that did break out of the range on wednesday so what i want to know here if this is a sign that we're gonna get a retest and further upside a sign of a bigger reversal or, or a bigger correction short term i think that we're gonna get a bit of a correction of this bearish move here and any failure at this level i think we might see one more leg to the downside now for the longer term um, uh, trade here if this euro to really uh, continue to the upside what i want to see that after this correction a bounce coming from this area here this level need to hold if the euro goes below this level i'm thinking we will look for further downside but as first if this to continue higher as i said i want to see bullish evidence at this level here and a start of a continuation with a break above previous high if that is the case we are looking for a longer term bullish scenario on euro usd while for next week i think early next week we should be looking to see what will happen if we're gonna get some kind of a slow correction here and then a one more leg to the downside this is uh, the least that we should expect from this market after such a strong momentum move to the downside now correction back up if they fail to break higher we look for a break of a flag or something like that and continuation toward this area okay i hope you understand the uh, idea here sterling same scenario we've got a nice trending market to the upside uh, broke previous level here this was a key area looking left been tested many times as support and resistance here uh, we've have we had the market trading nicely to the upside they did reach the 200 moving average on the daily and yet another key area here looking left if we go all the way back here as well we see that it's been tested here and many many times here at around this level so with that in mind and the 200 moving average at the same level whoops at the same level here i was telling our students and i think i mentioned that also in the weekly overview last sunday that if we got a break here we are targeting the 200 moving average since there is not much on the way as resistance now after this market did reach that area what will happen now well a bit of correction is the least we, we could expect and that is a correction to the downside so we had a failure here a break of the neckline and uh, i think there is more to this um to come so for next week i would say the same here as uh, we said about the euro some kind of a correction looking for something like this to happen a retest of this level to then look for a flag break or something like that to trade this one more leg to the downside for a retest of this previously broken structure back here that is the first trade idea i'm watching for next week to then see if this happened 
to see if the bulls will show up here and then start a continuational move to the upside or not usd jappy did break below 114.50 which was a key level to then see a little bit of a rejection on friday now um this market if we check the weekly time frame we are still looking at a pretty strong bullish market with higher highs and higher lows I was expecting something like this a retest and then continuation but the market did really push further down now on the daily as far as this level is not broken we still could consider this a bullish market and then maybe continuation so we go down to the four hour time frame and see um what's going on on this time frame we see right away that we are looking at a pretty strong bearish momentum on this uh, lower uh, time frame here you see how strong of a move here so this need to correct a little bit now and uh, correction are always very very tricky guys so if you really want to trade this correction and you you think that this might uh, start reversing from here uh, what you need to do is wait for a bit of a correction back down and start to see a higher low start to be established if that would be the case and you start getting a higher low here then you might look for some kind of a continuational move to the upside also to be careful at around the 114 point 50 to be a potential resistance and then one more leg to the downside so keep an eye on that area as well Aussie USD uh, <clears throat> did uh, attempt to to move higher to then reach a uh, level of interest that I had on my chart already um, Thursday tested that level got rejected strongly on Friday back down so this is a uh, particular uh, um, actually is still inside uh, this uh, kind of range right now nothing has changed even though we had a nice higher low higher low here but still as far as it is contained below this level i think we might still see a retest of the bottom going down to the four hour yeah you see it clearly here how the market um did an attempt an exhaustion move to then break back down going down to the one hour we see it clearly how this head and shoulder formation did happen filled the whole uh, void here in the price as you see mirroring the move to the upside or in a one-way direction and as usual no structure that mean no support no resistance and the market kept moving lower until they did reach some structure some support level here looking left we have the neckline we have the retest area there is a pretty good target for intraday trading now what will happen next week that is the big question i think we might see some kind of a correction if that would be the case and you see a correction that fails to break higher here one could look for one more sell once again if you get a smaller correction and it continue lower target one should be here target two should be down here okay usd cut also nice move to the downside after this lower high i mentioned this in the weekly overview i mentioned this level that if we break below it we might see further downside toward the 200 moving average target reach it here the market did reach the 200 moving average uh, tried to trade uh, below it to then get rejected on friday and uh, sorry on thursday and on friday we've got a continuation and move to the upside we've got an inverted head and shoulder an ugly one if you look at it like this left shoulder head right shoulder neckline got broken so this is a reversal pattern and at least at least a correction back toward this area is what i'm expecting next week so keep an eye on this now if we get a correction back down i am willing to watch this neckline to see if we're gonna get one more leg to the upside toward this area before another rotation back down or if they break higher then we keep looking for further upside as for now the four hour uh, time frame showing that we might continue lower so something like this and then back down is very very possible so you might trade this to the upside but you need to be careful 
USD chief at the bottom of the range now once again so we have a smaller range inside the bigger range at the moment um, I think we should be trading this for now going down to, to the four hour time frame just keep selling the highs here buying the lows here waiting for a breakout there is nothing else to do here actually uh, that would be the best plan wait for the breakout or trade the edges of this smaller range gold um, still inside this um, area here a bit of a range here uh, nothing will change until we see a breakout to the upside or a break to the downside as for now uh, we should keep playing this buying uh, this area here selling this area up here waiting for a breakout and oil um, I was uh, telling my trading room that the bulls should not stop now after this break they sh would not stop before reaching the top once again and it seems like they are going for it not much left now to tag this previous high I think that will be the case next week checking the weekly time frame you see that uh, yeah not much left here and a break above this on the weekly that would mean that 90 is the next uh, target for sure but before that they need to break and as far as there is no break above this there will be a rotation back down so if they fail to break then look for a rotation back down i'm waiting to see here if there will be some kind of a stop loss hunt and a quick rejection back down that will be the signal that we are gonna go back towards 76 once again so keep an eye on that level as well and um, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye